Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've updated my Sword Soul deck and uh, we're gonna showcase the Sword Soul deck in this video. So this is the new Sword Soul deck. It's a little bit different than what I have in my other account. Yeah, the thing is we have a lot of hand traps with this deck. We have uh, Effect Failure because we have Halki as well. So we can easily go into Access Code, you know, the Link Climb. Scythe so Frame Gear Gamma as a hand trap. Very, very good hand trap. Yeah, more targets for Desi. I think this is the final Sword Soul deck or the final version of my Sword Soul deck. Yeah, we do have Stardust here and Geomat Mech. That's subject to change. I don't have the Draco Berserker and the Scyframe Frame Lord Omega. I would prefer those two rather than having these two. But still, for now, they will do. So, uh, yeah, for now, this will do. Let's move on to the deck list. To go one by one, we got Cyframe Driver, of course, for the uh, Cyframe Gamma. One Effect Veiler for the Christian Halki. I removed one Adhera to fit Effect Veiler in here. Three Maxi, of course, uh, this card is just insanely good. We got two Cyframe Gear Gamma, two Ash. Now, you can go two Maxi and three Ash, but uh, I prefer to have Maxi because sometimes if you activate Maxi, they're just going to stop playing. And if they do play through Maxi, you're going to have a lot of cards. And having a lot of cards, potentially you're gonna have a lot of plays. So we got, of course, the materials for uh, for DPE right here: Celestial and Dasher. You have three Moe. We got two Taie. We got three Ecclesia. We got three Strategist Long Yuan. We got two Vishuda. We got one Nibiru. Two Fusion Destinies. Uh, three Sword Soul Emergence. Uh, one Sword Soul Sacred Summit, the Monster Reborn, basically. We got two Call by the Graves and three Crossout Designators because we do want to have our place as much as possible. We got two Imperms as well and one Sword Soul Blackout. You can do some changes. For example, you can probably remove one more Vishuda to add one more Imperm. You can do some adjustments, whatever you feel like adjustments that needed to be done. You can just go ahead and do that. Moving on to the extra deck, we got DPE for Stardust Dragon. Uh, it's just here because I don't have Draco... Berserker or Cyframe Lord Omega. Backship, Brightest of the Yang Zing, really, really good. Dragite, we got two Chi Xiao. We got one Barone de Fleur. We got Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. Geomatmic, again, just here because I don't have Draco Berserker and Cyframe Lord Omega. Monk of the Tenyi. Christian Hockey Fibrax, of course, in order to uh, climb to access code. Predaplant, and if possible, we can go Predaplant and go DPE next turn. Ecclesia, Special Summon or Normal Summon, then go into Selene. And uh, Celine is going to special summon another spellcaster from the graveyard. And then from that, we can go for Axis Code Talker. So yeah, this deck is really, really aggressive. As you can see here, we got a lot of destructions. We got a lot of attack. We got a lot of negates as well. So it's just an aggressive deck overall. A hyper aggressive deck, I'd call it. This is a hyper aggressive sword soul deck. Before we move on to the duels, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this deck. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. It would help me out a lot. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy my content. So, uh, yeah, let's just head into the duels. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here we go. So the thing I noticed about this deck, right, with Sword Soul, it doesn't really matter whether you go first or second. Uh, well, sometimes you go first and you get it going second hand. And uh, sometimes you go second and you go you get it going first hand without any hand traps at all. So it all just really depends on RNG and in your luck. For example, this hand is insanely good going second. <laughs> Holy shit. This hand is insanely good going second. So, yeah, there's that. We're just immediately gonna activate Maxi, I think. And hopefully he doesn't have hand traps. But, uh... Oh, okay. So, I think he, did, he does have hand trap, but he doesn't want to use it. He's probably just gonna end his turn, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. See, this deck right here, the uh, I think this is the Despia and Dark Lords, I think. It's a really, really good deck. Really insane. Just an insane deck. Uh, yeah, I do want to Ash that, actually. Oh, wow. What? 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 What is happening? Oh, I must pay 600, 600 life points in order to activate card effects. That's actually pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, uh, let's go do this. I do want to negate his effects, though. If he's gonna maxi right here, I'm gonna play through maxi because we have very good hand right now. And we can definitely go for the for an OTK. But yeah, that, that's extremely, extremely painful. They're not playing Max C. So uh, wow, that is that is <laughs> that is adding up, guys. That is that is ad adding up. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna get impermed here or effect failure. Max C, yeah, there you go. We're gonna play through, guys. We're gonna play through this. I do wanna negate that effect first because it really it really hurts. So let's just go ahead and do that. So let's summon Chi Xiao. Wait, I can't negate for the turn I summon this, right? 600. 
Oh wow, that is adding up, guys. That is adding up. I'm not gonna lie. That is, that is, that is painful. Okay, so uh, let's get along. You want? I need to destroy that part as soon as possible. Okay, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's throw. Hmm. Let's yeah. Let's throw this in the graveyard. Please don't get Nibiru just yet. So let's special summon Burn the Fleur. Attack position. There you go. Let's activate the effect, and of course that's gonna hurt. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's that's oh wow, that is just painful. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Let's destroy that. Uh, normal summon Taie. That's Nibiru. And then we can banish probably Mo Yi. No, not Mo Yi. Let's banish Long Yi One because we don't need it anymore. Let's see, probably gonna go for Dragite. Yeah, we're probably gonna go for Dragite in the gate just in case. So, uh, yeah, let's go into Dragite here. Yeah, I think this is GG. If it doesn't have anything here, this is GG. So, uh, yeah, we don't really need to activate that. And now we're gonna battle. Uh, let's first attack with Dragite. What, what, what are you doing? Okay, let's just negate that. I don't know, guys. I don't know, but let's just negate that. We need to OTK this turn. So, 3k... 3k and no response there we go <laughs> yeah that's yeah yeah we were just lucky guys we were just lucky we went second we had an insane go with going second hand and yeah that's the first duel let's move on to the next duel all right here we go oh -ho -ho. wow normal summon mo Yi. activate mo Yi. oh no hand traps okay no hand traps. Oh, we're gonna play around Nibiru here. We're gonna special summon Long Yu Wan immediately. That's three and four. And now we're gonna go into Baron de Fleur. Okay, there we go. Now this is, I believe, five. This is five. Let's activate Long Yu Wan the graveyard. Okay, let's special summon. Grandmaster Chi Xiao. If we draw uh, any monster, actually, I only have one monster born in this deck. If we draw, uh, I mean, I don't know what I can, what I can draw that would extend this play a bit more. Not called by the grave, definitely. No, not. Oh, <gasps> guys, I didn't mean to banish. I didn't mean to banish. I that was. Oh man, I thought I had an option. I was what? <laughs> I wanted to go for Taiye instead. No, 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 no. Oh man, that sucks. But yeah, we did draw. We did hard draw. The yeah, fusion destiny here, which is really good. So we can go in DPE immediately. So one disruption, Omni Negate, Monster Negate, uh, Graveyard Negate, Graveyard Monster Negate, and then we got Ash. So yeah, pretty good hand. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's five total negates in a way. So let's see. Ecclesia. All right. And special summon. We're gonna Ash here. Ash committed. No call by the Graves. That's good. Sword Soul Emergence. Uh, hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. Play, play Sword Soul Emergence. Long U1. Alright. If he activates that, we're gonna reserve our Burn the Fleur for Long U1. Because we definitely want that card destroyed. We don't want him to get his own. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we're definitely going to negate that. So let's banish our Long U1. Let's negate his Mo Yi. That's already a normal summon. So he, he can only special summon. So Long Yi Wan is his only option. There we go, Long Yi Wan. Let's uh let's call by the grave. I mean no, let's activate Baron's negate. There we go. So those are the key things that you want to negate when it comes to Sword Soul decks. Fusion Destiny. Alright, fair play, fair play. So we had an oddly similar hand, it's just that I went first. I do have Called by the Grave though, so he is in a bit of a disadvantage. Alright, he's gonna activate his effect. Okay. Let's activate our Called by the Grave. Uh, yeah, he's gonna scoop. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. So the thing is, 
In that scenario, he didn't have hand trap. He had an insanely good going first hand. And I had, had an insanely good going first hand as well. The thing is, I won the coin toss. I went first. That's why I won. If it's the other way around and we had the same hand, I'm 100% gonna lose that duel. Alright guys, so we're going first again, which is nice. But again, with Sword Soul decks, it don't really matter that much. Wow. Wow, okay, wow. Let's special summon at Hera. No hand traps, okay. That's pretty weird. Uh, normal summon Ecclesia. Activate its effect. Let's get a Moji in the field. Special summon Moji. There we go. Activate Moji's effect. Let's show uh, long he won in our hand. Okay, no Emperor, no nothing. That's actually a bit more scary. Let's get Chi Xiao in the field. Synchro summon to Chi Xiao. Boom. Let's get Tai A. Hopefully, we draw Tai A or Fusion Destiny or any Sword Soul ma monster. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, all right. I think I wanted to use the Monster Reborn here. Let's get the Monster Reborn. That's Nibiru, no problem. We have Cross Out, so yeah, I'm not I'm not worried. Wait, what? One, two, three, four. That's only four summons. Draw and lock. Okay, it don't it don't matter. It don't matter. That don't matter as much. We can discard Moji. Special summon this. Long you won. Add a token. There we go. Uh, let's see. We can go to Map Mech, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go to Baron de Fleur. So because we have one extra monster in the field, let's activate this first. Because we have one extra monster in the field, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna uh, special summon one of our Mojis. There we go. We can extend a little bit. We can go for Blackout instead, but I want to go for DPE because we have a cliche in our hand. The thing about having a cliche in your hand, we survive. If Red Upland survives, man. If Red Upland survives, uh, we can go into Axis Code easily. So let's send Fusion Destiny in the graveyard. That's two spell cards. We got one cross out. So a special summon DPE. Boom. Hopefully we can go into Axis Code this turn. Because this is it. This is it, guys. Red Upland survives. And we're going to ensure that Red Upland survives. Uh, we're going to normal summon Ecclesia. Or if we draw another Ecclesia, we can special summon by the effect of Dasher. And then go into Axis Code next turn. But for now, this is what we're going for. Uh, we got three, two negates, one Omni negate, a monster negate, and a destruction. We got cross out if it's uh, if it's a sword soul deck. But draw and lock bird. I don't think that's a sword soul deck. And this is probably a Numeron deck. A few moments later, it's a sword soul deck. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Summon your Bishuda. Good thing he didn't have Ecclesia. Because if he had Ecclesia, it's gonna be so much. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, so I guess we're not gonna draw Ecclesia because I want to cross out that Ecclesia. Monk of Tenyi is coming in. Uh, we're gonna activate DPE, destroy the Monk of Tenyi. We don't want to activate Vishuda in the graveyard. So activate DPE, call by the grave. If he calls by the grave, side frame Gamma. That's interesting. That's really interesting. We're gonna have to negate that, I'm sorry. Jet Synchron, what? Link Rebo, okay. This is probably gonna be Hulk Fibrax. That's one monster and a tuner. So that's he's gonna probably go into Hulky. Yep, definitely, 100%. Hulky Fibrax, uh, we're definitely gonna negate that. 100% gonna negate that. So let's banish our... Uh, you know what, let's banish one of our Moyu. We have two in the graveyard. So negate, negate, negate. Battle face. Please don't destroy the Anaka... Ah, uh, I promised you guys that I was gonna special summon access code. Let's get... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, let's draw Cyframe Gamma. Okay. You know what? I think we can still go into access code here. EPE. The field. There we go. No! No, I, that was it. That was gonna go for Hockey Fibrax. We're gonna go for... Oh, man, we had... Oh, man, that was it, guys. That was basically it. The deck is insanely good. You're like, you go first, you have this negates, right? If they're able to break the board, for example, we special summon Cyframe Gamma, then normal summon Ecclesia. What we can do there, we can go into Hockey Fibrax, get Mech Veiler from our deck, and then go into Selene, etc., etc. So we have access code and DPE to end the game. That's basically the hyper-aggressive play. Let me know how you guys can improve this deck. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.